You are watching HCN, Herrick's Television Network, Concerts. Hello viewers, this is a 10th grade musical concert. Enjoy.
in music and we're so proud of all of your kids and for our 10th and 11th graders I can't wait to see two more years of your concerts coming up in the future so this is really a special day um, and it's really worth the wait waiting out there in the hallway really worth the wait we're so excited and we as a music department we really appreciate all of your support all the encouragement you've given your children over all these years of music that really is so special so we really appreciate all of you give a round of applause for all of our parents And of course, that being said, I would really like to recognize our teachers tonight, Mrs. O'Hanlon, Mr. Stickley, and Mrs. Burke for all of their hard work. I'd also like to recognize and appreciate 
the support of our administration. Tonight we have here our high school principal, Ms. Keegan. Our assistant principal, Mr. Hodge. We have Henry Zanetti from the Board of Education. And our superintendent, Dr. Tony Sinanis. So we're all looking forward to a great concert tonight. I want you to enjoy every minute. It's much better than listening to me. So I'd like to introduce our concert orchestra and our concert master, Kyle Chu. Enjoy the concert.
love that piece. It's called um, Driffin, with an F, but it's actually pronounced Driven. And this is very funny. So when you order educational pieces um, for your school ensembles, there's always like a little blurb on the jacket. And usually they're informational. They say, this piece is about this, blah, blah, blah. So it gives you some context. You can read it to the students. This piece, Driven, has the worst blurb I've ever read in my life. And so much so that it became a running joke because it was written so awkwardly. So I'm going to give you, the audience, the same benefit of context that we have, which is not a lot. So here we go. The spelling of the title, Driven, pronounced Driven, is derived from the Middle English spelling of Driven. The word driven comes from the old English verb to and that's it. <laughs> so that piece we can only deduce was about driving. We hope you enjoyed it. That's a cool piece, right? So our next piece couldn't be more different. Um, Elsa's perception to the cathedral. So you've all heard at some point probably, here comes the bride, da 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 da. It's like a silly little ditty, but it's actually in an opera. It's a real Wagnerian opera excerpt, and it's the bridal chorus from the opera Lohengrim. And that bridal chorus, that Here Comes the Bride moment, happens right after the main characters get married. Lohengrim, who's this mysterious knight, and Elsa, who's this beautiful princess. Not the one from Frozen, different Elsa. <laughs> but um, that happens right after they get married. But this, this gorgeous music that you're about to hear is what happens right before that ceremony. So we hope you enjoy.
Our next piece couldn't be any more different, and it's, um, it's become very important to me to try to find works outside of just the Western classical idiom. So our next piece hails from Mali, and the composer is living, which is another thing that doesn't always happen in, in the orchestra world. So um, his name is Diabate, and he wrote this piece, which is all about um, a famous, well, famous, an emperor who really was like the first big emperor of Mali, and who established all of these traditions that they still have today, a lot of them musical in nature, sort of dealing with patrons and artists, really incredible emperor, and we don't learn really that much about it, so it was interesting for us. It's a five movement work, don't worry, we're only playing one movement, <laughs> and each movement is dedicated to a different instrument of the orchestra. And this one, Sumowaru, is actually sort of a villain story. It's about one of Sunjata, the emperor's enemies. And he was a very sort of mystical fellow. They say he wore a necklace of skulls that was magical. And you're gonna hear the battle over this necklace of skulls. And the section this is dedicated to is our violas, who do not get enough love anyway. So we are going to have some viola solo features and some viola soli. Soli is just like a solo, but for the entire section. So I'm gonna make them stand up and show off what viola power we have at Herrix. Enjoy.
give them one more round of applause. Before I forget, um, and I'm trying not to get too emotional, so I'm just I'm powering through my emotions, I'm compartmentalizing, I'm shutting it down, but I do have a lot of seniors on this stage, and I'm, I'm not gonna say anything, I just, I want them to stand up, because they deserve an enormous round of applause. Seniors, would you stand? four years. That's huge. It's a huge achievement. Um, I also just want to make mention of the fact really quickly that we did attend the Music in the Parks Festival. We all did and all the Harris group just crushed it. We came home with all superiors, lots of trophies. So a huge congratulations to all of you. Thank you to the community, to the parents, to our administrators. None of this, what we do here, would be possible without all of you. It truly does take a village, so thank you. Uh, we have one more piece for you. It's really quick and funny, and um, you might notice a special guest we have on stage. It's our orchestra mascot. Don't worry about it. It's an inside joke. It would take too long to explain, but we hope you enjoy Blackberry Blossom. And please deal with our quick set change and hang around because the chorus and the um, symphony band are fantastic. So, all right. Here we go. Blackberry Blossom. I'm going to
during our quick set change. We are now ready for some more music. I would like to introduce our mixed choir, directed by Louise O'Hanlon. Thanks for being patient with me. We are so close to you. That's why once the choir is off, if you want to end up going and sitting in these seats, you can. But um, thanks for uh, um, putting up with me uh, as I asked you not to sit in certain places. Um, I put a lot of the program notes in if, you, if you're on, if you've got it on your phone and as you go through at the very end, there's all the program notes for the people. But I'll just say quickly, um, the mixed choir is going to sing the first two pieces and then they're going to be joined by the treble choir. Uh, the first piece that we have is from the 1200s, so it's a medieval piece and it's Rosa, that's Rosa, so we are singing it in Spanish. And we go right into that, and we're doing three short pieces, uh, three Hungarian folk songs. I happen to just love pieces from different cultures, so we want to hear different uh, pieces from different cultures this evening. Come on in, guys. And I'll, I'll just talk as they're getting settled. Um, the last three pieces you're going to be, we're going to be joined by the treble choir, and the three pieces that you hear um, are very different. Uh, we have a piece called Seal Lullaby, which was written by an American composer. It was written for an animated movie that didn't happen, but it's the idea of the seal, the mother, singing to her pup, uh, singing to the seal pup. It's then followed by uh, where the light begins, and if you were here for our December concert, we sang that, but these are our three Nisma pieces. And then finally, our last piece is uh, Festival Sanctus, which is just joyful, and thanks for waiting. And I think we're about ready to begin. Um, I wanted to say a huge thank you to my accompanist, Young Kim. My two co-teachers who come up from the middle school, Jen Triolo and James Ludwig. Uh, I couldn't do this without them. And if you are a senior in this class, do we have some seniors? Senior. And then we have senior and Harsha, senior. So I wanted to say a huge thank you to them. Um, that's it. Enjoy.
say thank you so much once again for your patience during our quick set, quick set change. Now we're here for our grand finale, our symphony band. Um, thank you for coming tonight and coming to all of the concerts over the years. We look forward to seeing you at all of our future performances. Um, I would be like to welcome our concert mistress, Olivia Reese, and conductor Scott Stickley. Enjoy the
People love when bands play marches. It's such a celebration of life. They're actually a 19th century phenomenon, maybe even 18th century phenomenon. Even Beethoven wrote marches. So I hope you enjoyed that one by John Philip Susan Ferris to Fair from 1908. Still, do you recognize some of it? It's, it's actually in the American music vernacular. Anyway, uh, welcome to our portion of the concert. Thank you for staying. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate your support of this district, this week especially, and of course, music education. So thank you. Um, I want to not forget that we, I have some very wonderful students, and I think the parents who this is your last concert remember when they first brought their instruments home. Do you remember what they sounded like? Beautiful, wasn't it? And now just listen to them. So we're going to recognize our seniors in this band. We're going to formally recognize them two weeks from Monday, the first Monday of the month, at a very wonderful senior awards sponsored by our wonderful Music Boosters. But before we do anything else, I'd love to have all the seniors in this band stand up. born in France in 1411. As a young girl, she claimed to hear voices from heaven, which told her to give her life to freeing the northern part of France from the English. She became a warrior in the armies of King Charles VII of France and won many victories over the English. However, the English captured her in 1430 and had her tried for heresy. She was burned at the stake at Rowan in 1431. In 1455, King Charles ordered the heresy charges dropped, and she was later pronounced a saint by the church in Rome. Movement one made of Orleans. The opening music in the woodwinds states Joan's motive, which will be heard in various ways throughout the work. After a brief fanfare, there is a variety of music that attempts to describe France of the early 1400s, village dances, music of the royalty. The movement ends with a return to Joan's motive and a quieter version of the opening fanfare. Movement two, the warrior. Even though there was some disbelief at first, Joan became an effective soldier and leader of men, winning many battles for King Charles VII of France. The music here begins softly, but with a sense of drama. The battle begins and then builds to a point where it is obvious that the French forces have won. Movement 3, the martyr. Joan has been captured by the English and is now brought to trial for heresy. If she will deny that she has heard the voices from heaven, she will be spared, but she refuses to do that. The music builds on ominously, and soon we hear the fire rising around her. Eventually the fire and the music begins to die down and a sad peacefulness comes into the scene. Movement 4, the same. Without a pause, a solo flute moves into this final movement accompanied by a single note on the chimes. When the music begins to rise this time, it is with the uplifting feeling that signifies your faith. It is on these positive notes that the composition ends.
I'm always looking to do something new, and the Dante Cabanas is a new piece for me and for our program. Uh, it was just added to the NISMA manual. This particular band is going to NISMA tomorrow. Ed Mignola, our next door neighbors for a wonderful NISMA festival. All three bands are actually going. Uh, the freshman band next week, and followed by the Wind Ensemble. You can actually attend. Call the office, they'll tell you. When I was their age, I used to go to this craft fair in my hometown of Eugene, Oregon, called the Saturday Market. And they had all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> but one thing they did have was they had a conga line. So a conga group, usually three or four conga players, and they would play these beats, right? And there'd always be a master there with gray hair like me, and he'd be the master. And then there'd be the, the, another guy who was pretty good, and then there was a new guy. And the new guy just had to play the same thing over again while the master and the apprentice kind of talked to each other. So that's kind of where these beats come from. So we're actually going to play three kinds of beats for you. The first beat is called a conga. The second beat is called a salsa. And the third one is called a um, um, mambo for a, which means mambo on fire. So we hope you really enjoy it. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, the, the, the salsa is very relaxing. So if you want to just take a little rest from your week, it'd be great. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. There's a concert next Wednesday with our other groups. The Wind Ensemble, the Chamber Chorus, and the Chamber Orchestra uh, at Malloy College, I believe, at 7.30. So thank you again. And this band, by the way, is participating in the Memorial Day Parade. So come join us.
Thank you for coming out tonight. Please drive safe. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the concert. Have a good day. Thank you for watching HT Pirates Television Network Concerts.